Hey everybody, we're here for a lower body series today. It's short and sweet and it's sure to get everything fired up in a small amount of time. All you need is a mat for this series. Make sure that if you like this video, you hit that like button and then subscribe. And if there's any videos that you would like to see us do, make sure that you leave a comment below and let us know what it is that you want to see. All right, we'll see you on your mat. So today we're going to get started on our mat in a variation of a side plank. So we're going to set up with the shoulder directly over the palm and the hip directly over the knee. Your opposite hand can be wherever you want. You want to try to stack the shoulders, stack the hips here, flexing through the opposite leg so we're already igniting and engaging through that leg. From here we lift and lower. So not only are we focusing on the lower body here, we're also starting to focus on the obliques, that entire core and trunk section. So we have eight little singles here. And then when you find that eight, we hold it at your highest potential and we pulse. Little lift, little lift. So I'm at my highest potential, then I lift just a little bit higher. Again, flexing through that foot so you feel that energy all the way shooting out through that heel. For eight, seven, six, my legs are already starting to fire up for four, belly's pulling in. Two, hold that height, we bend it back and stretch. Back. So noticing that the thigh stays exactly where it is, we're just hinging at the knee for four. Heel comes nice and close to the glutes. Three. Last two. Hold it in, little tiny pulses. Lift it up and up. So again, we find that highest potential, then lift a little taller. Try not to dump down into that left wrist for eight, seven. My heel is nice and close to the glutes for four, three. Two. Now our transfer here is to drop down into a tabletop position, still covering that same leg. Shoulders over palms, hips over knees. We lift. Lower. Shoot the crown of the head forward as the tailbone reaches back. We lift. So the thigh is pressing so it's parallel towards the front of your space for four. Still flexing to that foot. Last two. Hold it up. We pulse. Again, we find that highest potential. Then we lift it up a little higher. Feeling it. That's eight, seven, six, four, four, three, two. Now a quick transition here. We just drop that right knee down and we're going to switch it out. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to rotate this side. So again, I cover that left knee off the floor. I lift and lower. Belly's pulling in. Again, flexing through that foot for four. For two. Hold it up. We pulse. Little lift. So we don't want to dump down. We want to find a little bit of space between the shoulders. You have eight. Seven. Lift it up even higher. For four. Three. Two. Now we open it up to that variation of our side plank. So palm is underneath the shoulder. Knee is underneath the hip. We lower. And lift. Feel like you have a string pulling that crown of the head back and that heel pulling forward. For four. Again, core steady to ignite. Two. Hold it up. We pulse. Little lift. Little lift. Kick that heel towards the front of your space. You have eight, seven. Last four, three. Hold the lift. Bend through the knee. We're in and out. Kicking it forward. Good. You got it. You have four. Press. Last two. Now hold that heel and we pulse, a little higher. Lift, lift. Again, keep that thigh so it's parallel down to the floor for eight, seven. Last four, three, two. Good, drop that leg down. We're gonna be on our sit bones. We're gonna finish this lower body series nice and strong. So the feet are gonna be about max distance apart. Give yourself a nice big roll all the way down to your back. And then crawl those heels in so they're a little closer towards the hips. So close enough that you can touch them with the fingers. Again, the feet are mass distance apart, so a little wider than you would traditionally do in your bridge series. Core is pulling in. We've got eight singles. Lift, lower. So here we're pressing the weight into the heels as we give that booty a nice big squeeze for four. Hands can be down towards the side. They can even be reaching up to the sky. Now hold the lift, we pulse. Two sets of eight, 16 counts. Lift, pressing all the way up to those shoulder blades for eight, seven. Now we have a little variation here for four, 
Three, keep the pulses, lift onto the ball and onto the feet. So the heels are nice and high. Two sets of eight. Up, up, a little higher. For eight, seven, six. Last four, three. Now transfer to the heels, toes go up, 16 counts. Press. Glutes are feeling this here as you start to fire up. You've got eight, seven, a little higher. For four, three, repetition reduction up to the toes for eight, seven, six, Woo, four, three, to the heels for eight. You're up, a little higher. For four, three, now up for four, up to the toes, four, three, finish this strong, you guys. For four, three, up for two, down for two. You go up for two, down for two. One more like this. Finish it with our single counts. Here we go. We're up, we're down, we're up, we're down, up, down. Final four to keep it going. You go up, down, up. Last two. Last one. Push it up a little higher and then slowly lower yourself all the way down. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. You'll definitely want to finish this series with a nice big stretch to relieve the, release those hips. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Again, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And let us know whatever it is that you want to see here. Is it more bar? Is it more yoga? Whatever it is, you let us know. I'll see you.